Hi my friends, it's Miss Michelle. I'm here to read to you the scripture reading from this coming Sunday's readings at Mass. This is for October 11th and it is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord all-powerful will prepare for all nations a feast of the finest foods. Choice wines and the best meal will be served. Here the Lord will strip away the funeral clothes that cover the nations. The Lord all-powerful will destroy the power of death and wipe away each tear. No longer will his people be embarrassed everywhere. On that day, people will say, the Lord God has saved us. Let's celebrate. We waited and waited, and now he is here. The powerful arm of the Lord will protect this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is from Psalm 23. Oh, that's my favorite one. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And then you will repeat after me. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Lord, you are my shepherd. I will never be in need. You let me rest in fields of green grass. You lead me to streams of peaceful water and you refresh my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I may walk through valleys as dark as death, but I won't be afraid. You are with me. You treat me to a feast and you honor me as your guest. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Your kindness and love will always be with me each day of my life, and I will live forever in your house, Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know what it is to be poor or to have plenty. I have, and I have lived under all kinds of conditions. I know what it means to be full or to be hungry, to have too much or too little. Christ gives me the strength to face anything. It was good of you to help me when I was having such a hard time. I pray that God will take care of all your needs with the wonderful blessings that come from Christ Jesus. May God, our Father, be praised forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, when Father reads the gospel, everyone stands. And that's usually, we sing Alleluia right before, well, most of the time we sing Alleluia right before he reads the reading. So I would like it if you could please stand. When um, Father or the deacon says, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, then we all trace on our forehead a little cross with our thumb. And we say, glory to you, Lord. So on our forehead, on our mouth, and then on our heart. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus used this story to teach the people. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened when a king gave a wedding banquet for his son. The king sent some servants to tell the invited guests to come to the banquet, but the guest refused. He sent other servants to say to the guests, the banquet is ready. My cattle and prized calves have been prepared. Everything is ready. Come to the banquet. But the guests did not pay any attention. Some of them left for their farms, and some went to their places of business. Others grabbed the servants, beat them up, and killed them. This made the king so furious that he sent an army to kill those murderers and burn down their city. Then he said to the servants, It is time for the wedding banquet, and the invited guests don't deserve to come. Go out into the street corners and tell everyone you meet to come to the banquet. They went out on the streets and brought in everyone they could find, good and bad alike. 
and the banquet room was filled with guests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 